Hello everyone, welcome to Dart tutorial. In this video, you will learn about function parameter in Dart. You will learn about positional parameter, named parameter, optional parameter. Let me share my screen and let's see a complete demo in action. Okay? Okay. Here you can see parameter is the process of passing values to function. We already discussed about parameter argument in our previous section. So let's move forward. Here you can see positional parameter in Dart. In positional parameter, you must supply the argument in the same order as you define on parameter when you wrote the function. If you call the function with the parameter in the wrong order, you will get the wrong result. Okay. Uh, here you can see example. I will create a function and uh, will share a practical demo for positional parameter in Dart. Okay. For that, I am opening VS Code and let me write positional dot that. Okay, let me create a function where and function name. Function name is full name, full name, and then I'll write a string first name and a string last name, last name. And then just I will say I will print your full name is dollar first name and dollar last name. Okay. Okay. Let's create a main method here, main function that is void main, void main, and then here I will just uh, print full name of John Doe and I will also print full name of Rahul Sarma. Okay, Rahul Sarma. Okay, yeah, here is the first name and here is the Sarma last name. Okay, this is the example of positional parameter. Here you can see in the function definition we have written string first name and string last name you must supply first name here here you can see you must supply first name in double quotes because it is a string and in the second argument you must supply last name because here you can see we are uh, supplying the value is for position so it is called positional parameter okay this is the positional parameter and Let's talk about named parameter. To make positional parameter or named parameter, you need to write curly bracket here. Just write curly bracket here. And you need to write curly bracket at the end. And you need to also write question mark here. And then question mark here. This question mark is for null safety. I will uh, discuss about null safety in uh, upcoming video. You need to write here question mark or you can also write required keyword at the beginning. Okay. If you don't like to write question mark here, then you can uh, write required keyword. That is also okay. R E Q U I R E D required. If you don't write question mark, that will also work. Okay. You need to write here also required. Okay. This is named parameter. Okay. If you write curly bracket, then this parameter becomes named parameter. If the parameter is named parameter, then you must supply here that name. Okay. I'll say first name is equal to John. Last name is equal to Dwe. Okay. And here I will supply last name first. Okay. Last name equal to Sarma first name is equal to Rahul or Raj. Okay. In this way, you can write a named parameter. In the name parameter, you can write this one at any order. Okay. Here you can see we are writing the required keyword and first name and last name are required. Okay. If I run this program, that positional dot that here you can see your full name is John Dwe and your full name is Rahul Sarma 
in this way result got printed okay okay now here you can see the same example and uh, let's discuss about how you can provide default value to the positional parameter okay i will uh, this is uh, named parameter i will also create a positional parameter okay void grid person then i will write string full name full name string gender and i will write square bracket here square bracket is for optional okay i will say string string i will uh, say title okay string title i will give the default value of mr slash ms okay ms slash mrs okay okay let's create a function body and let's print hello dollar title i will say first title hello dollar title and then i will say your full name is okay hello dollar title and then i will say dollar full name full name and i will give one space you are dollar gender okay i will say just like this one and in the main method i will comment this line control slash shortcut key okay i will call the function grid person then i need to write person name i will say ras sarma and in the gender i will say male okay if i run this program okay i am going to run this program if i run this program then here you can see hello mr mrs ras sarma you are male okay and let's also write grid person and then i will say full name is harry sarma and i will say gender is male and i will also pass the title okay okay i will pass title here title is just mr okay if i pass title here that is mr and if i run this program here you can see hello mr harry sarma you are mail got printed in this way you can also use optional parameter in your positional parameter thank you so much for watching this video up to the very end i will see you in the next video thank you